All right, it's still today with John and Helen, live from Plus TV Africa. We are on DSTV channels 408 and Star Times 308. Don't go there, I can't forget it. All right, and uh, it's a lovely show this morning. Just before we went on that very quick break, I was trying to get um, an information from John about yes. how his week went. Yeah. How did your week go? Maybe John's week would tie you know, with how your week went. Yeah, my week went well. And uh, yeah, just simply for the fact that I think the federal and state governments are waking up to the repairs on the third mainland bridge and all of that. I see that there's a bit more... It's been patched. Yeah, there's a bit more, you know... Is a patching up. Re ...reaction mm. from them. Yes, yes we'll, it will be inconvenient for a few couple of months or so. Okay. But I, I, I'm optimistic. I, okay, the major, I, you're talking about the major repairs in view. Plus major, um, yeah. plus uh, okay. pilot. Okay, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're, I think they've taken, they've taken their time to, you know, direct us to, you know, different routes yeah. so that uh, movement is not impaired in any way. At the end of the day, mm. there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. How about foodstuff now? We're, we're food stuff. I flying, the, we're flying so fast into the end of the year. I didn't go to the market this week. You didn't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so it's time to just dive into our very first conversation. And our first guest is Yewande Matthew. She's the CEO of Davela. Davela naturals a tribe a trailblazing company dedicated to simplifying healthcare for over four years davela has been committed to providing effective high quality hair products that promote strong healthy hair growth yeah, that sounds good you and the <laughs> rihanna <laughs> matthew embodies a dynamic and visionary approach to business leadership with a tenure of over four years like you heard Mrs. Matthews has been at the helm of Davela Naturals. Her exceptional guidance and strategic acumen have propelled, have propelled the company's growth and development, solidifying it, its position really as uh, and reputation within the industry. She boasts of an impressive academic background, and you can tell from the way she speaks, having earned a degree in economics okay. from the University of Lagos, and a BSc in Business Administration from Nexford University. Mm. In addition to her role at Devela Naturals, Yewande serves as the Executive Director of Palm 3 Concepts, a prominent firm specializing in strategic communications, events management, and public relations. Her strategic insights have also proven invaluable over the course of a decade contributing significantly to the firm's success. Quite a heap. Quite, quite, quite a quite heap. A heap. But anyway, furthermore, she co-founded the Youth Entrepreneurship Summit and Expo in Nigeria, showcasing her dedication to fostering entrepreneurial endeavors. That's wow. just one person. Wow. You and wow. Matthew for wow. you. Wow. <laughs> Okay, and um, just a little more, and then we, you get to meet Yewande. Yewande's expertise extends beyond her executive roles, as she's also recognized as an experienced trainer and accomplished business speaker. Her commitment to driving innovation and promoting sustainable business practices is evident in her endeavors within local and global marketplaces. Yeah, one day we have to stop here. Hello, <laughs> day. Is it only you? <laughs> ah, it's good to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank God you so bless much. you for coming. You know when you read it out like that, I'm yes. like, okay, is that, is that really you? you? <laughs> when you get to read some people's um, CV mm. and you look at your own, you're like, okay, so you haven't started that bit. <laughs> or is there a a professional way of putting, of putting it together, together who you are <laughs> and what services you render, you know. But that's very nice. Well, thank you. So we've lost thank quite so some much. time, mm -hmm. and I think we should we should just dive into yes, it. Yes, yep. Because, yeah, Let's I mean, do this. Let me openly ask you. Okay. Right. What sparked your foray into the natural hair care business? Okay, for me, it started when I had my first child. Um, I had a terrible experience with relaxers growing up and I didn't want her to go down that route. So for me, I had to go in and find out the best ways and safest ways to grow her hair. And in doing that and in finding out a lot of information, I found a lot of women wanted to do that as well, but they didn't have the information or the background. And 
I needed to find a way to help them out. And then in doing that, I also decided to found Devela Naturals, which is bringing out the products, ensuring that women had the best care, and also mm. building a community of women who wanted to showcase their inner beauty by the growth of their hair, Whoa. basically. And that's very, just talking about very hair. Very refreshing, yes. you know, because, <laughs> because if you look around now, every, well, maybe 80%, 90% of African women, Nigerian women, would like the... Yes. Okay? So it's the weed that does it. it you, so what you're saying now is you have to keep the natural you natural. You have to care for the hair underneath. Okay. Because at some point in time, you have to have that confidence. There are some days you're not going to feel like putting on putting the wig on. cap mm. and wearing the mm. wig. You also mm. have to have the confidence of the hair underneath all of that. Okay. So I tell my clients that the health of your hair is most paramount. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the length, not necessarily how it looks, but how you look after it and how it makes you feel. Mm -hmm. Because a woman's hair is her crown That's right. at the end of the day. That's All right. right, so what does it actually take to become a natural hair expert as well as run a successful business around it? Okay, it, the most important thing is to have the passion for it. And then the knowledge and the expertise as well. You have to stay on top of current trends. You have to know what it is that is for long-term stay and what it is that people are just fascinated about. I mean, at some point in time, people were looking at putting uh, raw egg in their hair, mm. raw, mm. Um, mm. raw powder. Okay, what will make this one grow? Okay, if I mix I garlic vera, and raw. onion yeah. and this thing. <laughs> and that's not saying that those things are not good in and of itself, but the, you have to get to the compound the chemical compound of those things in order to get the essence of what it is that it can use to care for their hair so i always tell my clients that we are developed naturals we redefine hair care which is to let you know that okay you don't need to go around looking for the next best thing oh this one will work or that one will work you need to know the basics how to look after it how to wash it how often do you wash it how mm. long do you care for it mm. so the passion for it the knowledge behind it and then being able to be innovative and change with the people that come up but also knowing that some things are constant in the business mm. well mm. i'll just have you know that i, I represent the men yes you know, in our society <laughs> and we've always been told that uh, we are the crown the women's ah, crown but you okay, just said man. to me that really that's not true that the hair uh, it's is. your hair that is your crown well yeah. <laughs> when a woman stands beside her man yes she has to be able to present herself in a way that he's going to be proud okay and when she's confident and proud in her crown he is also confident and proud in his crown so you, can, you have it so you can have a double crown exactly <laughs> <laughs> anyhow anyhow the the natural hair trend you know has transitioned into more of a lifestyle actually yes, in right. Africa over there and even beyond yes. you know and uh, that's over this maybe 10 years mm -hmm. now, now what will you say is responsible for that okay for me it's a growing movement of women understanding who they are and drawing back from a lot of Eurocentric ideas. Mm. Growing up, we had relaxers because our mothers thought that that was the easiest way to look after your hair. Mm. Oh, your hair is hard. Mm. Oh, your hair is strong. You go to the salon. And you're ah, battling madame, when you're combing it. You're giving yourself a headache, not knowing how to handle the <laughs> hair, you know. And then also with a lot of research that have come out with the with the dangers of long-term use of some certain relaxers. I mean, in the U.S., the FDA is looking on how to ban relaxers in mm. the U.S. because they have seen the health repercussions mm. concerning women. Mm. So a lot of women have come back to be like, okay, my true natural hair, what exactly does it take for me to look after it? And then they see the beauty in the hair itself or, mm. and the versatility in looking after it, and they are proud because the pride in your own self is the most important thing in looking after your hair at the end of the day. Mm. Wow. Mm. Hair pride. <laughs> hair pride. Mm. Okay, so how <laughs> sustainable really is setting up a natural hair um, business in Nigeria? You know, sustainable in the terms of how many people really are interested in keeping their hair natural? Mm. How many women, for example? And, you know, when you think of how difficult it is to keep it, you talked about the basics, which mm. we didn't go into, mm. apart from washing, how often do you wash and all that. Mm. What, what, how, how sustainable is it? How much of a business can it be? 
you okay. know, in this setting. Okay, so for a lot of women, I've seen that they struggle with the hard hair, strong hair mentality first. Um, I always tell people that um, healthy hair is the main cause first. So if you are still in that mindset of, oh, I need to relax my hair. Okay, fine. If you need to relax it, don't do it every two months. Maybe do it every four, four months. months. Then extend it to every six months. In the process, you then now find out how to look after your hair in between. So how often are you conditioning it? How often are you um, going to the salon? If you go to the salon, are you able to tell your stylist this and this and this? Now, the hair care industry is a multimillionaire industry. The only thing that is probably hindering a lot of people is that there's no proper regulation. And NAFDAQ, as well as they are trying to help, they are not necessarily making it easy. And then we also need government to help in terms of loans, in terms of you know, banks and government being able to um, give us the right backing okay. you know, to build industry, to be able to manufacture these things. Because we are, we, are, we are not struggling within ourselves. We are struggling with international brands, the Share Moistures, the Cantus, mm. the Carol, Carol's Daughters. These brands have come in and mind you, they get their raw materials from here. Their cocoa from Ghana, their shea butter from Ivory Coast from Nigeria as well. They mm -hmm. take it abroad, they manufacture these products and they bring it back. So why do we have to go through that journey when we have um, companies like mine who make these things in-house? Mm -hmm. And then also, they need to be able to give us the ability to import a lot of the raw materials that we need to make these products. So access to loans access to government backing, ability to make the manufacturing industry grow. And we will definitely see a boom in hair care manufacturing in Nigeria. Yeah, and I believe so. I, I believe you, actually. Yes. Now, um, uh, is it unnatural you hair? You so awkward is, is talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so awkward, I'm looking for the words. Now, wigs, yeah. right, have come as... Uh, an escape route for a lot of people okay. to the point that okay. some may even say, "Hey, who needs uh, who needs uh, natural hair after all? Mm. If I can just, you know, quickly put on a wig, on a wig and <laughs> go on, and go. you know." So, what would be your advice to women who rock their natural hair and uh, might have been a little bit confused with the knocks that uh, natural hair has been taking. What would be your advice? To okay, that? I think I, I know the to what you're alluding to, which is the current viral yes. video yes. that has been yeah. going around with a certain woman of God who has mm -hmm. said some things mm -hmm. that are not palatable. Now, to say those kind of things in an atmosphere where natural hair is still being groomed is actually quite damaging. Damaging to the esteem of some women. Mm. who listen and take, um, who take to heart what things that are said from the pulpit. Mm. Um, to say that, um, quote unquote, who natural hair, hair help, yeah. um, it actually helps a lot. Because if you, are, if you wear your wigs constantly, you will not wear it to sleep. Yeah, you are <laughs> yes. not going to wear your wig to sleep. Unless you're with your new boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to wear your wig to sleep. You're not going to wear your wig, you know, when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. You have to be able to confidently look at that person in the mirror mm -hmm. and say that the wig is an accessory Three, yeah. to my beauty. That's right. It doesn't define my mm. beauty. Mm, so at the end of the day, if you sit, I mean, um, for example now... Um, Madi Kuti just got married this past week. His wife had different kinds of natural hairstyles all through their wedding, mm -hmm. from her afro to an updo to a pin-up look, and they were all very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I say that to say this. It doesn't, deter it doesn't matter if you wear a wig or you do not wear a wig. The person that is meant for you is meant for you at the end of the day. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> We should be wrapping up this conversation in the less in less than five minutes. I want to believe. Um, I see your hair. Yes, it must be natural. Yes, it because is because you are you are, yeah, the, you ambassador. are the model. <laughs> yes, you are yeah. the ambassador. And for a lot of us, we think that it's difficult to keep a long hair mm. and still have it natural mm. because when it's short, a lot of people who do natural hair, the low cut thing is it for them. 
So if I want to keep my hair long, and you said something a while ago that really, you know, it, it resonated with me, that when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see your real you, yes, not with a wig, yes, but the real you with your hair as yes. it is natural. So just give us those tips now that ladies, women watching this show, and for a few who would like to also take it to the next level, business level, mm. what do we have to do like in two minutes? Okay, if in terms of caring for your hair, whether you are currently relaxed or you have natural hair, I would suggest um, ensure that you have a good clarifying shampoo, a good conditioner, deep conditioner preferably, leave-in conditioner, a good hair oil, and a hair moisturizer. Those are your basic tools that you need. Never allow your hairstylist use a rat tail comb, which is those very, very slim, thin mm -hmm. combs mm -hmm. on your hair. That's the first, first route to hair breakage. Always use a wide tooth That's comb. Right. Whether you have relaxed hair or you have mm. natural hair, a wide tooth comb ensures that it detangles easily, okay. especially when you're doing your hair. The quickest way when you're going to bed, have a, a certain hair, a hair cap or a certain pillowcase or if you don't have any of those, you have an old lingerie, old satin mm -hmm. nightgown that you have in your cupboard somewhere that you've kept. Use it to wrap around your pillowcase because cotton absorbs oil from your pillowcase mm -hmm. and the friction rubs on your hair, which makes it difficult for you to keep length. Mm. So when women complain about length, I always tell them that consistency is key when you're doing your hair maintenance and you're doing your hair regimen. Make sure that you're consistent. If you're going to the salon, make sure that you understand what it is that you're your, your stylist is doing to your hair and that they are not ignorant of how it is and that you yourself are knowledgeable so that you can teach them, no, 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 I don't want that. Mm. Use this instead. Mm. No, no, I don't want that comb. You, because you should also have the confidence, you're paying for this thing, mm. to tell them that I don't need this, I want this and I want that. Mm. And then also in the business I am segment, ensure that you have the, you are willing to learn, you are willing to put in the work to be able to say, this is what I want to do, and this is how I want to do it. And also know that your friends and family are always your first customers in whatever mm. business that you start. This has turned into a masterclass of <laughs> natural hair for free. For free, <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. And of course, uh, what I'm thinking about now is my, my hair cap. You know, uh, I'll go get my... Yeah, old hair yes, yes, probably. <laughs> I, I always tell you that um, our hair care products are not just for women, they're also for men, for men. as well. Okay. You know, especially men who are trying to grow their beard. Um, oh, really? Yes, our, our so hair oil has been used. You know, by a lot There's of men. a ching, ching guard. Too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, we've had a lot of success with that as well. Anyway, wow. quickly, let's just, uh, let, let, let's even find out, you know, because it's, it can't be all rosy. You know, what challenges have you found that you and your colleagues face in the business of hair care oh. in Nigeria? It's definitely not rosy. Mm. It's definitely not rosy. You know, you have a lot of, um, a lot, like I said earlier on, you know, access to loans is mm. very difficult. You have to either have a, a fallback or you have, you know, your family and friends, like I said, are very important when you're starting out your business. Um, in getting marketing is also another thing and then convincing people that made in Nigeria is also very mm -hmm. good because we are a we are an export European mindset kind of if it's not made abroad it's not, not good, good enough, enough. Mm -hmm. so uh, we we are trying to change that narrative buy the Naira grow the Naira made in Nigeria is very important and knowing that there are actually good quality hair care products made here in Nigeria, affordable enough for you to not want to spend tens of thousands on products made abroad. But wow. we know what it is that is good for Nigerian hair, good for the Nigerian environment, and that will work best for Nigerian women. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we will have a part two of this show. <laughs> because, you know, the women out there need to know the danger you talked about it that in the US they're trying to phase out relaxers because of the associated yes. um, health um, hazards. Those are some of the other areas that we need to delve into. Yes, you know, so women can be aware of these things. But for now, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for having the me. time. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's been thank a you, pleasure. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right then, John. Why are you thanking her so soon? 
I wish she could stay on. <laughs> no, no, she'll be back. She'll wow, be back. That, really, yes. I, I've enjoyed it so, so much. And it gives me this feeling that by the time you wear your hair naturally, you know, you're getting your power back as a woman. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know, mm -hmm. it's like part, part to the African to the woman. woman. Exactly. And, and that, that really thrills me. Wow. And uh, this show explains the secret of your natural beauty, I must yes, say. You yes, are the, yes, so yes, thank, you. thank you so much for coming on the show and for opening our eyes to the secret of natural beauty. Okay, mm. so thanks again you know, for the time you spent with us. Mm. Closely guarded tips, you one day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank so you. Much. We can't thank you enough. Next on the program, today with John and Helen, live on Plus TV Africa, we will be having the hype man. An entertainer, an entrepreneur. But first, let's take a breather. A break is next.